Eastern Michigan heads to Minnesota. I'm sure you're like, why are you picking this? Well, if you're asking that question, you have not been watching this show. I cover all the games on here that we don't cover on the BetUS show, along with, you know, whatever I think is the most interesting of the week. And Eastern Michigan is always interesting to me because their coach, Chris Creighton. Okay, they are they are a fantastically coached football team. Um, they go on the road. Eastern Michigan, 9-5 and five against the spread as a dog over the last two years. They've always been really good on the road as well. Minnesota, 6-6 six and six against the spread. Uh, let's see. As a home favorite since 2021, they're 5-3 and three against the spread in non-conference matchups over the last two years as well. Uh, the kid's name from Eastern Michigan that I'm trying to pull up right now. Let's see. Austin Smith last week. Not great, but also not terrible. He did throw a pick uh, against Howard last week. You look at the final score for Eastern Michigan last week. They won 33-23 to over Howard. However, they were up 30-9 to at the half, and it felt like they could do kind of whatever they wanted to. So... You look at you look at some of these numbers. By the way, this is a 6:30 p.m. game on uh, Big Ten Network. Minnesota is favored by 20 and a half with a total of 48 here. My power number has Minnesota by almost 30. My raw stats number after one week has Minnesota by 1.74. You look at the offensive numbers for Minnesota, and they could not get anything done against Nebraska last week. I mean, just absolutely nothing. Uh, you look at Minnesota, or excuse me, at Eastern Michigan, and their defensive numbers were not great against Howard, at least not when it comes to uh, defending the run. When it comes to defending the pass, yeah, they were pretty good in that spot. Number 41 PPA per pass, number 22 passing success rate allowed. Uh, they're great at stopping explosive passes. They're not great at stopping explosive runs. Let's see. Let's look at the defense here. Uh, defense for Minnesota. Minnesota's not great at stopping the run. Obviously, Nebraska was able to take advantage of that. Uh, they're number 92 PPA per rush so far. Number 115 rush rate. Number 116 rushing success rate. Yeah, I, I've i talked myself into this pretty good. I think Eastern Michigan's going to hang within this number. I don't think Minnesota is all that worried about this game. I don't think they're going to try and blow anybody out or whatever. They've got North Carolina on deck for next week, if I'm not mistaken. This seems like a good spot um, for Eastern Michigan to be able to stay within that number. Uh, Eastern Michigan will fight you. Like, they are. They they will fight. And Chris Creighton is a fantastic coach. He will find a matchup advantage, and he will continue to hammer it. I, I think they'll be able to do that here. And my guess is, on offense... Uh, that they're going to be able to take advantage of maybe Minnesota's run defense. We'll we'll see, but that's that's what I'm looking at here because I mean Minnesota they couldn't get any stuffs. They they're not great in offensive line yards. They just kind of got whipped last week. Uh, Eastern Michigan is not Nebraska. Don't get this twisted. But I think that they can stay within twenty and a half. Minnesota still wins easily, but Eastern Michigan plus the twenty and a half. Uh, and if I get burned by that hook, I'm going to be so irritated because I've bet it at 21, but still sitting on 20 and a half. It's the way it goes. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me Gary at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.